Okay guys, today we're gonna to be talking about some knives that I'm excited to test in this upcoming summer. So while I patiently, or maybe not so patiently, await summer to arrive, it still isn't quite here. So I thought I would break down some knives that I'm pretty excited to go over, to test, to use, and play around with this summer. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all of that. The support is very much appreciated. Okay, now let's get into it. Okay, so the first one to start off with, and I thought the most fitting of all to start with, is the prototype knife. Now, for those who don't know, and I've kind of teased it a little bit, but I am working with a local knife maker to make a prototype of my own, and while this one is definitely the version one there is going to be more to follow and while this one like i said is just version one i'll probably be using multiple versions throughout the summer to test and use and really hone down the design and how i overall want this blade to be before it is released for anyone to pick up so it has a long so it has a long way to go, but uh, I'm definitely excited to use the prototype for the first time in the summer and uh, really put some, put it through some paces and use the heck out of it. So overall, pretty excited about how the design turned out, but it definitely needs a few tweaks. So that is the prototype knife. It's going to remain nameless until uh, a later date, but yeah, so that is the prototype knife. A lot of people asked for it to be featured in a video, so figured I would throw it in here because once again, I am pretty excited to use it this summer and I uh, kind of test it. Okay, so now let's talk about some Gerbers. <laughs> so I have a handful of Gerbers here, and while some of them have definitely already been tested, I am definitely excited this year to use the Principal, the Prodigy, and to continue to break the LMF too. <laughs> so those guys are going to be interesting to use. I am not very impressed with them, but of course I want to give an honest and uh, honest opinion after some use and after I put it through some paces. So these knives, like I said, I want to use them, get them out in the field and see how they hold up and if they continue to fail. So that is the Gerbers. Okay, so the next uh, kind of group of knives is going to be the SC knives. Now, of course, I have had many SCs already, uh, but one, two that I am pretty excited to really get out and use. And granted, I have already used these two limitedly so far, but I really want to put some mileage on the SC6 and the Hoogless 2 by SC. These both are really fun knives, and I'm very much excited to get some field time with both of them. Like I said, I've already kind of brought them out a little bit in the winter, and I already got a few miles on them, but I am really excited to use them uh, far more extensively and really put some use on these guys. So that is the SC Hoogless 2 and the SC 6. Okay, the last one for survival knives is the Falkneven A1. Now this one, as you can already see, definitely is used and I have used it pretty well uh, this winter, this past winter season, but I really wanna get it out and use it some more this summer and put it through its paces. Of course, I know that this is a fantastic winter survival knife, but I wanna see how it fares in the summer. In addition to the A1, as shown here, I also have the F1 and I want to get both of the Falkneven's out and use them just a little bit. Okay, now let's wrap it up with some bushcrafty or camp knives. So first one is going to be the JBK Layman. Now similar to the Falkneven, I have already used this one a bit this winter, but I am just really excited to pull it out and use it this summer. I think it is going to be a fantastic knife and I really look forward to having some different options aside from just the BRK Bushcrafter. And I think that this is gonna be one that is going to rival the BRK Bushcrafter in its use and performance. So I do really, I'll look forward to using this little guy this summer. And lastly, but not least, is the K-Bar BK-18. And this one, once again, I've already used a bit this winter, but I really want to put it through some more paces and run it a little bit harder this summer, really see what it's made out of. It is already a really fantastic tool, despite what some may say, I definitely think better than the Gerber <laughs> lineup or Gerber strong arm. And uh, it is a really fantastic little tool, and I really want to run it through its paces this summer. 
So that is a list of blades. There are quite a few. And of course, there are going to be other knives out there. Uh, I'm still, you know, actively getting more knives for the summer to test and review. And there are quite a few that have not been shown here. But uh, overall, there's going to be a lot of knives to review and play with this summer. And I'm very excited to bring that content to you guys. I just thought I'd do this kind of a teaser video, if you will, to kind of get you guys a an idea of what's coming up, you know, what knives, because I have so many in the collection, you know, some people might wonder, you know, uh, what's coming up next, what reviews to expect. You can expect reviews on all of the knives that were just shown, except the JB the JBK because uh, the layman has already been reviewed, but um, I'll continue to feature it in videos. But aside from that, uh, you know, you can expect reviews on all the knives mentioned and of course a lot of use footage from each knife being used in the summer. So anyways, thought it would be fun to kind of tease these knives and show them off and see, show you guys what is coming up. So as always guys, God bless and I'm out.